Hope you are all having a fantastic day. And I am going to share the most important and repeatedly asked mapping from conformal transmission. So I'll make this mapping easier for you and you can solve by your own if you concentrate for few minutes. So this mapping is nothing but W is equal to sine Z. As everybody knows that W is equal to U plus IV and Z is equal to X plus IY. So we have to substitute in W is equal to sine Z. So as it is given that W is equal to sine Z, in place of W, I am going to write this is U plus IV. And in place of Z, I am going to write that is X plus IY. So here is an expansion as everybody know that sine of A plus B is equal to the formula for sine of A plus B is equal to this is sine A into cos B plus cos A into sine B. Clear? So this is the formula here. So please remember. So I will consider this as A and this as B. So this is of the form sine of A plus B. Then this can be written as U plus IV is equal to sine A. So which is equal to sine X into cos B IY plus this is cos A. This is cos. What is X? A here X into sine b so this is i y and again there is another formula for you that is cos i y is nothing but cos i y can be written as this is again cos h y and next one here sine i y can be written as i times of sine h y so we have to remember this one and substitute here as well as here and now see what happens here U plus IY can be written as, this is U plus IV can be written as, this is a sin X. And in place of cos IY, I am writing cos HY. So this is cos HY. And here, in place of sin IY, I am going to write it as I times of sin HY. So this is I times of, this value is cos X into this value is a sin HY. And now, if you compare the real parts as well as the imaginary parts, U value is equal to sin X into cos HY and the imaginary part V is equal to cos X into sin HY. So, if I separate then the U value is equal to, so U is equal to this value is sin X into cos HY and the next one V value is equal to cos X into sin HY. Clear? We got two equations, one and two. And now see here, next we have to take the consideration that is case one and case two. So in case one, I am taking x is equal to c. So x is equal to c I am considering and therefore if I take x is equal to t, what is, uh, where is x here? Here is x and here is also x. So u is equal to x, sin x, this is cos hy and v is equal to this is cos x into this is sin hy. So if you keep x is equal to c here, then u is equal to this is sin c into cos hy and v is equal to this is cos c into this value is sin hy. And see here, this is u by sin c is equal to this is cos hy and this is v by cos c is equal to this value is a sin hy and now these two are the hyperbolic functions so in order to eliminate we have to square and add so here i am squaring and adding in order to eliminate this hyperbolic functions that is squaring and subtracting sorry squaring and not adding squaring and subtracting so if i square so this will become see if i square what will become so this will become this is u square u square into sine square c is equal to this is cos h square y and if i square this one so this will be v square by this is cos square c is equal to this is sine h square y. Clear? So if I subtract, see what happens here. So if I subtract, 
So this is minus and this is minus. And this will be u square. So this will be u square into sin square c minus b square into cos square c is equal to cos h square y minus a sin sin h square y. And as you know, this value is equal to 1. Therefore, we got u square into sin square c minus v square into cos square c value is equal to 1. So when you compare with this, as x square. So this is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. So this is an hyperbola. So what is the force here? The force formula is this is plus or minus root over if there is minus here for force a square plus b square comma 0. And see what is a value here? a value is sin c and b value is cos c. So, this is the formula here for hyperbola and the foci here, the formula here. Now, after comparing, so what will be the foci here? The foci is equal to plus or minus root over a square. What is a square here? a square is nothing but sin square c plus this is cos square c comma 0 and foci is clearly as plus or minus. This is root over 1 comma 0. So, foci is nothing but plus or minus 1 comma 0. So, here if you keep y, x is equal to c here. So, if you keep x is equal to c. So, we got an hyperbola with foci plus or minus 1. And now if I draw this. See here if I draw this. This is u and this is v and this is a 0 comma 0. Clear. So, the force here is like this and this is a hyperbola equation that is u square by sin square c minus v square by cos square c is equal to 1. So, hyperbola will be like this and here the force is minus 1 comma 0 and this is plus 1 comma 0. So, if it is s, this will be s dash and this is in the w plane, clear? This is in the W plane. Our next one case is, the next case is after taking x is equal to, see here x is equal to c, we got a hyperbola. So, in case 2, I am going to take y is equal to c. So, the next case here I have chosen here is case 2. So, please consider x is equal, so this time y is equal to c and these are the two equations here. So, what are the equations? The equations are u is equal to, see here, u is equal to, this is a sin x into cos hy and this value v is equal to, this is cos x into this value is a sin hy. In this, if I keep y is equal to c, what happens? u is equal to, in place of y, I have to substitute cos hc. So, in place of y, I have to substitute c. And clearly, so u by, so this can be written as u by cos hc. Cos hc is equal to sin x. And see, this is v by sin hc is equal to, this is cos x this value is cos x so if i square and add see what happens here in order to eliminate x squaring and adding so if i square and add squaring and adding both the equations then see what happens if i square this one on both sides this will be u square by this is cos h square c is equal to this is a sin square x and see this will be v square by this is a sin h square c is equal to this is cos square x. So if I add this one so this value will becomes u square by this is cos h square c plus this is v square by this is a sin h square c is equal to see this is a sin square x plus cos square x. So, as you know that sin square x plus cos square x value is equal to 1 and this can be written as u square by cos h square c plus v square by sin h square c value is equal to 1. So, when you compare, so this is uh, 
ellipse equation that is x square by a square plus y square plus b square is equal to 1 with four sides. See here this is plus or minus root over a square. If there is plus here, see remember there will be minus. If there is minus here, there will be plus comma 0. So this is an ellipse equation. So this is ellipse. So here for the ellipse equation, now we are going to consider the foci here. For the foci, see this will be plus or minus root over what is a square here? a square is cos h square c minus this is a sin h square c comma 0. So as you know that this value is equal to 1. So this is plus or minus 1 comma 0. Clear? So we got a foci and an ellipse equation. Now if I draw this. So, if you keep y is equal to 0, then if I draw, this will be, so this is u and this is v and this is w plane, clear? And this is an ellipse. See here, this value is a 0, 0 and this foci value is, here it is minus 1, 0 and here it is 1, 0. If it is s, this will be s dash. So, this is the W plane. So, this is the ellipse if you keep y is equal to c. So, if you keep y is equal to c, we got ellipse. If you keep x is equal to c, we got an hyperbola. And see, now we have to frame it in a W plane as well as in Z plane. So, how this Z plane transforms into W plane? As you know that we have taken the two cases. The first case here is x is equal to c. Clear? So, x is equal to c is the one case and y is equal to c is the another case. So, here let me show you in the z plane. So, in the z plane what happens here? In the z plane, it is very clear that. So, here is the diagram. So, this is x axis and this is y axis and x is equal to c. Here will be the c, x is equal to c x is equal to c line and see this will be some c here y is equal to c line clear so this is the this is the region in x y plane and see if you observe in the w plane so in the w plane what happened here so this is the w plane so in the w plane it is very clear this will be u and this will be v and if you keep x is equal to c as i have shown you if you keep x is equal to c this is an hyperbola equation so if you keep x is equal to c this is an hyperbola so the hyperbola will be like this and the next one here so this is the origin 0 comma 0 and the next one if you keep y is equal to c we got an ellipse here so this is an ellipse here so for both the force here is plus or minus 1 comma 0 so this is 1 comma 0 s and this is s dash clear this is u as well as this is v and see so this is the netted part here this is the netted part here and this is for if you observe this one for the ellipse as well as the hyperbola the force is same that is plus or minus one and this is x is equal to c and this is y is equal to c and there is a small clarity here see here, from the textbook there is a clarity that the images see here from the images the images of curve x is equal to c and y is equal to constant form an orthogonal net so this is the net here except at the critical points z is equal to plus or minus pi by 2 hence see here this is the conclusion that hence w is equal to sin z transforms in transforms the line x is equal to c and y is equal to c into the confocal hyperbola and confocal ellipse respectively the families of hyperbola and ellipse are orthogonal to each other see this is the conclusion part from the textbook and here is an infinite strip here. So infinite strip they have taken as minus pi by 2 x less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi by 2 which is great y greater than or equal to c. So in that case see what happens there is an another case here. So case 3 that they have taken minus pi by 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to plus pi by 2 and y is greater than or equal to c. See here, just I'm showing this one as we have two equations, 
that is so as we have two equations here u is equal to so u is equal to this is a sin x into cos hy and v value is equal to this is cos x into sin hy these two are one and two equations if i substitute x is equal to plus pi by 2 and y is equal to 0 see what happens if i substitute here the values x value is pi by 2 y is equal to 0 in this what is u becomes so u is equal to in place of x i have to substitute pi by 2 and in place of y this is cos 0 and clearly same v is equal to in place of x as pi by 2 plus pi by 2 and in place of y as 0 sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so here the value here will be u is equal to sin 90 is again 1 u is equal to 1 and here this is sin 0 0 into anything is 0 so we got two values as u is equal to 1 and v is equal to 0 and the next thing here is x is equal to so what is the substitution we have to give x is equal to minus pi by 2 so one time it is plus pi by 2 and the next time it is minus pi by 2 y is equal to 0 in both the equations so in the equation so if i substitute then u value is equal to sine of see sine of minus pi by 2 is nothing but minus sine pi by 2 into this is cos 0 and next here also so in place of x as minus pi by 2 so this is cos of minus pi by 2 is plus cos theta into sin 0 as sin 0 is 0 the value here is 0 and u value is equal to minus 1 so here if you observe we got u value as minus 1 and v value here is equal to 0 see here so this is the z plane so in the z plane and in the w plane so in this case in the z plane so here is minus pi by 2 and this is pi plus pi by 2 and this is x axis and this is the y axis and in this plane clearly it is uv so this is this is u and this is v and this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 and see here for the strip the value here shouldn't extend extend this one that is minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 as a sign value and cos value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 so this will be the region and here also the strip plus 1 and minus 1 and this will be the region the clarity i am giving here so this is minus pi by 2 and this is plus pi by 2 and in the w plane that is u as well as v and this is x as well as y and minus 1 to plus 1 so here is that conclusion part that c from the above discussion w is equal to sin z sin z maps the infinitely vertical strip that is minus pi by 2 less than x less than pi by 2 on to the plane cuts from the plane see here u less than or equal to minus 1 and u greater than or equal to minus 1 and v is equal to 0 so this mapping is 1 1 and conformal so this is the third case which we have to give a conclusion here for x is equal to c and y is equal to c so this is the z plane mapping and in for w plane c for x is equal to c we got an hyperbola and for y is equal to c we got an ellipse and for both the figures we got the same foci and this is how we have to draw the graph thank you so much for watching and here and here is the solution for this and if you really like you know what to do raise your thumb and that's all for today and uh, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching uh, till the end and meet you in my next video until then stay connected and have a good time